I'm in the lovely town of Ashburton in Devon in England, in the southwest of England. In fact, here's a map to give you an idea of the location. And I'm going to take you around a really special antique shop, actually. This is, in a nutshell, we're going to meet Lydia, the owner. It's a very modern antique shop, this one. I think you'll be interested in it. I'm going to show you some pieces. We're going to interview Lydia backwards and forwards. We're going to look at some prices, look around the shop, get the feel for it and the area. Let me know what you think. I love this place, Lydia. Thank you. How long have you been here for? I've been here just over five years now. Wow, and I tell you what, you've done it so well. Show a little wander Thank around. Thank you, yeah, yeah, please You do. really have, it looks incredibly modern, doesn't it? Thank you, yeah, we try and have a mixture in here and show people that they can use antiques in a modern home as, as well as a, an old one. Uh, it's very important to us how everything's presented Aww. and we have a nice mixture of the furniture we've also got some cabinets of, of silver ceramics jewelry um, a nice mixture and, and something for all budgets as well yeah i can see that and also and the silver is remarkably clean that is <laughs> i mean ridiculously clean it's very clean i can't take much credit for that um but uh, it is all polished who house. does it uh, my wonderful mother, Lorraine, comes and polishes the silver for us. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. It's absolutely ridiculously clean. <laughs> I've never seen such clean silver in an antique shop for a very long time. That is spectacular. What do you sell most of here? I mean, is, is there anything particular? Yeah, um, we do a lot of furniture. Um, yeah. So you can see we've got the big pieces. We've got wardrobes, chest of drawers. Um, but alongside that, the silver. Yeah. Um, all sorts. We do lighting as well, mirrors, pictures, a real variety. It's it's like a real interior designer's dream in actual fact, whether you're a professional interior designer or an amateur, because you can, you, it's almost like room set it. You can see how it might yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we try and do. Like with the tables, we'll pop plates on it, yeah. glasses, make sure we have some chairs there. And we quite often actually sell, even though the table and the chairs are priced separately, we'll sell them together because we try and present them in a way to suggest this is how you could have it set up. Um, that makes perfect sense. So you're painting the picture, yeah. aren't you? Without people having to try too hard, they can see exactly yeah, yeah, what it's going to look like yeah. by them individually or together. Yeah, we, we do have interior designers come in a lot who are looking for pieces um, and they almost give us shopping lists. Um, yeah. We've got uh, our own workshop and storerooms that wow. have got pieces in. So we can usually find what they're looking for. Wow, okay, and what's your background? Has it always been antiques? Um, yeah, near enough. Um, I started this, uh, I left school at 18, and by the time I was sort of 19, 20, I was doing this. Brilliant. Not just as a hobby. Yeah, so, uh, good for yeah. you. So you got into it nice and early. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, it does look, and enjoy it? Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to, it is one of those businesses. You have to love it. To be yeah. successful, you've got to love it. If you hate it, it won't work. Yeah, absolutely, this is a lifestyle. It's not nine till five, it's, seven days a week my friends think I'm totally mad but it, it's great it's meeting people it's the whole side of it you know from the buying to the restoring to the selling it, it's just it's a wonderful lifestyle <laughs> tell me do you love the the um the, the research this is something that I've always adored yeah, absolutely and the only way to ever learn about something is to buy it to own it then you research it you understand it um, I've got stacks of um, old reference books at home, um, which are fantastic. And the, the internet's great, has its place for sort of research, but there's nothing like the old books. You're 30, 40 years, okay. someone has spent their whole life writing a book on mm. chairs. Mm. But they're like, they're like Bibles, they're fantastic. So do you sit at home watching TV with an old reference book <laughs> and a silver spoon on your lap having a great night in? <laughs> Usually watching the Antiques Road Trip with an Antiques <laughs> reference book. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I know. It sounds a bit sad, but yeah. I'm with you on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's fine, yeah. It is fabulous. Lydia, wonderful to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like the shop.